Hey guys, we're going to uh, pour a body today, the first one. Okay, we're going to pour two actually. I just want you to show you a couple little things uh, in preparation while I'm down here in the workshop. So, if you recall, I mentioned um, putting in a couple little grooves to allow excess resin to flow out from the high spots when we're squeezing the mold closed. Okay, you're going to mix up a little more than you actually need. So, when you smoosh this down into the resin, you need a place for the extra resin to go. So in this view, uh, this is a high spot, right? So you want the resin to be squeezed up, and I carved a little groove here for it to come out, and I did one on this side as well. Uh, for the front, we have this hole. That's definitely the high spot. Um, I was thinking about doing them here on the corners of the bumper, but I'm going to pass that for now. You know, if, if this doesn't work out, if I see an issue over here, I can always carve those in. On the back, we have the one that I threw here at the definite high spot. So there's those two. I got one here. I'm going to do one more here. All right. So let's uh, let's get in there. So I got a brand new razor blade here, sharp, and I'm just going to slightly angle it and bring it basically straight down. All right. I'm going to come in from this side. You can't see where you sliced. You just kind of crank it open, and there's my cut. And then I'm going to match it. Just apply pressure. I'm not really you put pressure in the rubber, it kind of slices. So there's that. And we'll pull that out. There's the start of our channel. And that start is kind of the most important part. Now I'm going to channel it across this chunk of rubber here. So V-groove it in, both sides. Pick that out. This will allow that resin and any animals a place to go. I'm going to come down the wall here, and we'll do a similar groove in here along the top or the bottom or whatever this is. So if this will pull him out, pull him out, there you see we have a nice little zone for that plastic to squirt it out. Alright, so this is pretty much ready. I'm looking it over for any... Uh, other little things that might be issues. One thing I noticed was there was a real thin little piece of rubber here. You guys can make that out. I kind of doubt it, but those little thin rubbers are, are going to put, you know, that that's going to be a texture on the inside. So let's get rid of those little st strappy pieces. Um, anything else that looks like it might cause issues? Just these thin little strips that are hanging off, little flaps, can catch uh, the plastic and uh, cause weak spots. So let's do a little bit here. Nip here. It's like plastic surgery. Wait a minute. All right. I'm calling that good. And I will check you out in the next video. What we have to do next is figure out how much resin we need to pour. Okay. So I will uh, see you in the next clip. Hey guys, we're out here in the shop. Uh, let's look at what we got before we cast. We got our scale to weigh these things out. Now these are one to one by volume, uh, but 100 to 90 by weight. So you really don't need a gram scale, but I'm just gonna use it. Um, we've got dyes, these are Alumalite, two ounce dyes, black, the colors and white. So you can make almost any color with these, those are great. I've got little mixing cups here. And the important thing about these, you can use anything, but what makes these great is that they have all the markings on the side for very precise uh, weighing and measuring. So um, we're going to use one of those and little stirring sticks. You get these by the hundred for a couple bucks on Amazon. Same with these. Uh, slightly bigger cup. Um, notice I brought the mold out. The mold I just washed in soap and water. It's brand new. It collects a lot of dust. I put it in hot water to warm it up. Okay. Uh, we're pouring a very thin section. Our body's very thin, so it's a good idea to have your mold nice and warm and let that resin really pop off um, as it's curing, okay? So you, you hit that uh, quick curing time that you want. Now, it's also very important that this thing is 100% dry because any lick, any moisture in this will cause bubbles. So um, I'm going to take it out in a minute and put it in front of my heater here on the pedestal and blow some hot air at it for a couple minutes while I... Uh, make the next little video clip for you guys. So that's the supplies. You just want to make sure you have everything ready because 
this stuff has a three minute pot life and once you mix it uh you got a game on you if you know for whatever you're gonna do so all right guys be back in a sec for the next video all right guys we're gonna spray our mold release uh i did the the inner part and that's pretty easy make sure you hit it from all four sides be be uh pretty heavy on this first first run because you don't know exactly where it might hang up or where things are going to stick and the rubber is so raw that after a couple runs and you spray this it kind of gets bedded in and, the, and the, the mold release happens easier now this one i noticed there's those deep channels back there um that are hard to get at i'm never going to be able to spray it in there so what i'm going to do i'm going to try to squeeze it open as i spray it and um hopefully get some down in there okay so i'm going to try to really uh Spray the heck out of this thing, all four sides, especially for the first run. All right, so we're getting there. This is nice and warm now, and I have the resin warming up as well. All right, peace. All right, guys, how much resin do we need to, to pour for each body? Well, let's figure it out. Um, here's how I do it, pretty simple. I filled up a cup here, 150 cc's water. I'm gonna take my body here, fortunately broken, and we're going to put our pieces in and you're going to see how much that water level rises and that tells you how much resin you're going to need for your body that's uh less than five cc's of volume okay if those marks are to believe so i'll mix probably uh maybe 10 to be on the safe side and i have these little cups here and there's the cc marks so I'll mix 10 cc's, I'll put 5 in of part A and 5 of part B till I hit 10, stir it up, pour it in the mold, and that'll be my starting point for my first body. Alright, let's see how that goes. You can adjust it more or less uh, after that first one. Alright guys, I just mixed the second half in. I'm going to stir it up for a minute. Here, uh, try to get a good blend. You only got three minutes, so um, take you know 30 seconds. Make sure you're mixing A and B well. Uh, this does cure white. The 300 is the classic white resin. I put the red in because I just can't resist. Red, my favorite color, and why not? All right, one drop of that red. So I'm gonna keep stirring here. Another. Stuff really got to be mixed well. Try not to whip too much air into this thing. Now this first body we're going to cast just in the mold. Ambient atmosphere pressure. We'll do one next with the pressure pot. Let's see how this first one comes out first of all. Alright, so I'm mixing this up. I think I'm good. Now I've, I've looked at the mold. I kind of have a plan for how I'm going to pour this in. You want to fill all those nooks and crannies so... Uh, your first couple, you got to figure that out as you go. And this 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 body actually pretty pretty complex here with all these zones. So I did mix up 15. Remember the body was only about five, but I went overboard here on my first one because why not? All right, here we go. So pour it down into the middle there, most of it. And I'm going to slosh it around and make sure I get it back down into where the pickup bed is. Any bubbles, tap, tap. Get them out of there. Work it all along the edges. <clears throat> Alright guys, here we go. It's been... About 15 minutes. This guy didn't get red. I got pink, so need a little more dye on that one. Uh, okay, anyway, still still a little flexible, and that's actually a good thing for now. Help you get it out of the mold. All right, peel off the chunks here. Let's see. I love that we saw it come through. First thing I'm going to try to do is pull out the inside here. Rock and roll. Nice. Okay, I see some air bubbles. All right, well, to be expected. Now we're going to pull the inner piece out. 
and it's going to deform when you pull it out. But what you can do then, we're going to pop it back over that piece uh, and let it chill. We're going to put the heat on it for another 10 minutes while it uh, cures up, solidifies. Use these nice little handles. Boom! Check it out. Looking good. Real good. Looking awesome. All right, so now we got a, uh, got a pink Land Rover. It's pretty sweet. All right, I'm going to pull this flashing off around the edges. From the edges here, try not to deform it too much. Pop these little nuggets off here. And I'm going to throw it back on top. Just so that way it stays in the correct shape while it hardens up. All right, and I'm going to set that in the airflow here to uh, help it cure for the last little bit, okay? Success, my, my guys. I love it. This is awesome, okay? Glad to share it with you all. Let's get you a little close-up view. Um, all right, so it came out great. Pulled a little paint off the, uh, that's primer from the, from the body actually, I was in the mold, I knew that would pull it off. Detail looks great. Okay, I can see some little dimples where there were some air bubbles on that outer mold, but overall it looks awesome. It's shiny from that release, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, wash this when it's done. Colors, not, not really where I'm looking to be, but whatever, for the first body, that's pretty awesome. All right, that's the process, guys. I'm gonna do one more today with the pressure pot. All right, so stay tuned. Let this harden up in the in the warmth. All right, guys. Next body, we're going to do uh, use the pressure pot. So the pressure pot, if you don't know, basically a metal container designed to take pressure. This one I found at a yard sale for twenty bucks. Uh, you have to, uh, it has clamps to clamp the top down, it has a rubber gasket there to seal, and you can put pressure onto it through the, the fitting here. I have this um, valve here to, to let the pressure free, it has a blow off valve, a little handle, very simple setup. <coughs> Air tank over here, my little compressor, and I have the, the regulator set to about 40 pounds, okay? So I'm ready to set it up in the pressure pot. The point of it is to take any air that's caught in that resin and squeeze it down so the bubbles become tiny. Um, and it works really well. The only, the only issue I'm thinking I might have is what about the air that, that we know is caught in this mold? Is it gonna squeeze that air down also and deform the mold? So this is my experiment. Uh, if I use the vacuum tank to take all the air out of this silicone, then I would have none of these worries, but um, we're going to give it a shot because as you saw from that previous picture, there's definitely some, some air getting caught in that resin. All right, here we go. All right, guys, we've got it ready to go here. I've got it mixed up. It went blue this time. I only mixed 10 also because 15 was definitely a lot more than I needed. So I can feel it starting to get warm. This is going to kick off any second so quick 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 I'm gonna slosh some around in the bottom of the mold again pour some in the top like I did so slosh it in here I know the video last time missed it make sure it's on all the edges tap 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 get all those air bubbles out that you can I'm gonna put a little bit down into the the winch hole here in the bumper and I'm gonna put a little down in the back where there was an air bubble last time put a little more in there smush them together Get the orientation right, put it down into my pot, get the squeeze. I see it coming out of the sides and out of those holes. I'm going to add a weight. Boom. There we go. The lid is here. Put the lid on. Get this tight as soon as possible. Squeeze it even. Get my air pressure. There we go. We're good. We're on pressure, so we're going to wait 10 minutes and see how she comes out. Number two in blue. 
Okay guys, it's been about 15 minutes. Uh, I checked that the plastic in my mixing cup is firm, so I know that the plastic down there is at least set up. My compressor's turned off. I can let the pressure out. Loud, all right, and let's see what we got. Okay, and we go. Take the weights off. Oh baby, see the re see the blue resin came up through my little vent holes there. Love it. Pop it off the wood. All right, so can we see this? We got a good zone. Here we go. All right. Okay, it looks good. Less run out this time. I think 10 is the way to go for this puppy here. Here we go. I'm gonna slowly work that one out. See which way it wants to. What does it want to do? All right, took that one out, looks good. Now, what was that? Hey guys, a couple parting words here before we uh, wrap this whole little series up. Um, first of all, very excited how they came out. <clears throat> the bodies clean up real easy. The parting lines were done just right. The scale, the proportions, okay, so time spent modeling. Uh, I've got bodies that fit perfectly uh, and, uh, and I'm really psyched. Now we did have some issues with not having a vacuum to pull the air out of the rubber and you can see when I combined that aerated rubber mold with uh, the pressure pot, you end up with uh, warts like this. Okay, so you definitely need to uh, pick one way to go. All right, uh, the fact that the fact that these came out so nice without a vacuum and pressure means yeah, you can do it. Okay, it's no problem. They come out way better if you have the vacuum and the pressure pot. So try to get that equipment if you can. Now these little warts, they sand off. They just pop off real easy and. So yeah, those, those pop off and sand real easy. The body will sand and come to a high polish. And this body, even as, as gross as it is, will turn out looking great. So don't let this blue body uh, keep you from making your model from the, from the matchbox and getting the clay and getting the rubber, okay? Because even with that messed up mold, you can end up with perfect looking bodies. One last thing I wanna show you is you can see how the pressure uh, it actually forced the blue resin into all those little air bubbles in that mold rubber. So that was really interesting to me. I'm, I can't wait to pour a couple more and see what we got. But overall, guys, really psyched. Uh, it's going to be fun racing my little rovers. I rock style, tall tire, truck action. And uh, I, hope, I hope this may have uh, encouraged you to create uh, some customs of your own. All right, be well, and I'll uh, see you out there on the track once this whole uh, situation we're in blows on by.